One of the most widespread <coughs> diseases of our century is diabetes mellitus. It is estimated to be 5% on the world, about 300 million people. This article explains life section of a diabetic type 2, in other words, not insulin dependent DM person, who, cur who cured herself, became diabetic again by doing or her old habits and then recurred herself. The methods shown are very simple, economic, can be applied in daily life very easily, do not contradict with logic or common sense, and consist fundamentally an explanation about changing our nutrition habits. What you recognize is that getting over diabetes mellitus is possible not only with medicine, but with the application of a combination of food chemistry, biochemistry, food production technology, food market, and solitary herbs and passing to most convenient foods to our body. This also answers the questions of 1. Why the diabetologists eating all kind of refined foods in International Diabetes Congress are diabetic themselves? And 2. Why the diabetic associations which sell all kind of refined foods in their canteens cannot cure DM? Under these circumstances, what we have to do is to check our diet system once more and create a more conscious public awareness by warning the public and private institutions. <coughs> what is diabetes mellitus? Diabetes mellitus is still described as a very mysterious illness with its many unknown sites but occurs basically as a result of a defect in our digestion system. <coughs> the glucose entering to our body by foods cannot be stocked in the tissues, succeeding the transfers to our blood and eventually passes to urine by taking the water from blood to be thrown from our body. There is a continuous hunger, tiredness because the glucose entering the body cannot be used, thirstiness, the body loses water, and urination, the body throws the high glucose by urine. The general strategy of medical treatments is decreasing the glucose level in food by giving oral hypoglycemic, hypoglycemic agents and insulin to body, but such outer interferences, interferences will never bring a final solution. It affects causing final, sol final solution. In other words, if we do not correct our contemporary nutritional habits, which can be described as a concealed genocide, according to Hippocrates saying your foods must be your <coughs> medicine and your medicine must be your foods, DM will be an increasing threat for everybody in the world. Solution What is the reason of this unknown defect in our digestion system? What makes our digestion system tired? Why do some societies have and some do not have this illness? For example, industrial societies, agricultural societies, western countries, Humzas in North India. If we investigate the answers for these questions, we find it as the reason of outer things that enter to our body. In other words, Food. In this case, individuals or societies who know how to take food correctly are close to solution and finally have solved the problem as a result. It would be wrong to be against the current methods of classical medicine, especially the insulin treatment in high cases. But what is important is uh, not to be in need of that treatment. We and our food. So as to continue our lives, we need some basic food varieties like proteins, vitamins, minerals, fats, carbohydrates, and water. Thus, the body can achieve its uh, physical and mental activities, renewing, our, uh, renewing and constructing itself. In this point, there is a necessity of taking our food correctly, especially in our day, since the nature of our digestion system orders us so. In the same way, the healthy, long-living individuals or societies, the ones without diabetes mellitus, do this consciously or unconsciously. Then, we come to the following questions. What is correct nutrition? What is malnutrition? It is crucially not a coincidence that some societies or individuals have diabetes mellitus. Likewise, the increase of diabetes in our day compared to past. There are common points which cause diabetes. The common points in the above mentioned cases are refined foods and animal origin foods. The food which loses its nature and meat, poultry, fish, like animal origin foods are the primary effects which make the healthy individuals or societies from the diabetic ones different. And this is unfortunately because of the produce more, consume more concept of our century which produces 
foods just for taste without considering people's health for gaining money. Actually, genetic factors are not the major determinant factors in diabetes, but environmental factors are the ones which make it widespread. Individuals of the same family or society which have the same nutrition habits. The two cases you will see here below are good proofs of this reality. One, it has been observed that a person who did not eat animal origin foods was not, a di was not diabetic while all the other members of the family eating these foods had. Two, a diabetic man died in a traffic accident. His damaged kidney, because of diabetes, was transplanted to a healthy man. After some time, it was observed that the kidney turned to normal in the healthy man's body who had conscious nutrition habits.